First thing I'm going to say is a wee rant, and it's aimed at Bond Helicopters and Insurance Company. It's 600 days and more since their helicopter fell out the sky, and it landed on our people. And they don't have the answers, and they don't know what's happened, and they're due that, they need to know what happened. So Bond have got to think about the people rather than thinking about their balance sheet. Anyway, that's ran over. Yeah. 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 This is this is not what the Clutha looked like. It was a wee bit different. <laughs> it looks like a wee Glasgow pub, but it was very, very popular. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> anyway, it, it was a good wee pub, but hopefully this is just the start. We're going to try and move things forward and hopefully this is a, a, a thing that can help the families and everybody affected by what happened next door and we get a wee bit of closure and this might do it and it's a start for the Clutha it's not the, the final answer or anything like that but it, eventually it will be now you know who's next to me is Nicola <laughs> <laughs> she's a local a local girl as well as being the first minister Probably the star of Scotland just now, so sh I think she's going to say a few words. I'm not, are you going to sing like Prince Charlie did? <laughs> <laughs> he sang the Ying Tong song for us. Oh, now you tell me. <laughs> anyway, Nicola. All right. Thanks, Alan. Can I start by thanking Alan very much for giving me the privilege of being here tonight for inviting me along and giving me the chance to say a few words. I mean, I'm very, very aware that although we are, in a sense, celebrating tonight, it's, it's a happy occasion, the reopening of a famous Glasgow institution. This is also a night that is tinged with real sadness. Uh, yeah, I think everybody who was in Glasgow or has any connections to Glasgow will remember forever the horror of what happened that night. I mean, I remember it in the way that everybody else will remember it. You know, turning on the telly, I actually started to see things on Twitter and then, you know, just as the horror of what had happened started to sink in and we will never, ever forget that. But for those who were directly affected by this tragedy, for the families of those who lost their lives, and I know some of those families are here tonight, their lives were changed forever by what happened in that night. And... So we're here tonight celebrating the reopening of the Clutha, but as we do so, we're also remembering those whose lives were lost and those whose lives were changed forever. And I think it's really important to say that it is, as I think Alan said yesterday, looking ahead to tonight, uh, something of mixed emotions that we're all standing here with. There were, out of that tragedy though, so many amazing stories about Glasgow and about Glasgow people that emerged over the few days after the crash. Uh, I will remember being as touched as everybody by some of the stories of acts of human bravery and kindness and this feeling over that weekend and the days that followed of a city wanting to come together and kind of put its arms around each other. And so out of the tragedy, I think we all learned a lot about ourselves. We all learned a lot about our city and we all learned a lot about the bonds of humanity because what unites us as human beings is much, much more important than anything that ever divides us. Uh, and one of the things that was brought home to me the weekend after the crash was just how local Glasgow is. Um, I, I was Deputy First Minister at the time, and I went to the Glasgow Royal Infirmary uh, the Sunday, I think, to visit some of those who'd been injured uh, and met uh, Anne-Marie, uh, who was the, uh, the barmaid in here that night, who uh, I knew previously. Um, and that brought it home to me how, you know, everybody had some kind of connection, sometimes two or three or four or five times removed. But Glasgow's a small place, Scotland's a small place, and what happened here on that awful night really brought it home to us just how small uh, this city is. So we are here tonight to be happy about the reopening. Uh, the Clutha, I used to come in here when I was a student. I hadn't been in for quite some time. Uh, when I was over age... I was I was of the right age to drink, and I should say I should say, then as now I always drank in moderation and utterly responsibly, 
And if all the cameras and journalists here could note that down <laughs> particularly carefully. Uh, but this is a Glasgow institution, so to have it reopened is fantastic. Alan started, uh, rightly started, by saying that people, and in particular the families of those who died here, are still waiting on answers, and that is true. Uh, I'm not going to go into that because there are legal processes that have to be uh, gone through, but I hope, I very much hope, as we all do, that in the not too distant future, those answers will be provided for people because they do deserve the answers about what happened. <laughs> now, I think all it, all it remains for me to, to say, uh, apart from uh, asking all of us as we enjoy this occasion tonight, just to remember uh, those who lost their lives and those who sustained injuries here that night. But I think the last thing I want to say is, is directed to Alan. Uh, I've, I've known Alan for quite a while. Uh, Alan's a constituent of mine um, and the Resilience and perseverance he as an individual has shown throughout this has been outstanding. And I know, I know, I know very well the trials and the tribulations and the one step forward, three steps back that he's gone through to get this place reopened. Uh, you know, I think it was down to the wire as to whether it was going to actually happen on schedule tonight. So, Alan, uh, you're a great guy, and I think everybody's very grateful for the effort you've put into getting the Clutha, the wonderful Clutha Vaults, Yay! Glasgow Institution, open again. Yay! Thank you very much. People that you need to thank here, Shh. and it's probably too many. But there's there's a, there's a couple of people and a couple of things I just need to say. I need to thank the emergency services for what happened that what they done that night. You know they were just incredible. <laughs> and a lot of them are here. They're all just about. Also need to thank Big Crawford who built this place. They worked night and day on it. And I also need to thank a company who told me not to say anything, so I won't. But what I will say, I'll use one of their, their rivals' slogans and say tenants are probably the best company in the world. <laughs> <laughs> they were brilliant to me. Can I ask you just now, if, uh, what I want you to do is just, everybody, could a wee cuddle like that, and we'll just have a wee moment's silence to remember what happened next door. If we could just be quiet for that, okay? <laughs> Shh. All right, from now. Thanks very much. <laughs> 